wanted to answer two questions with this experiment. First, do these masks even work when it comes to stopping the spread of bacteria if I cough? And if they do, is there one mask that works better than the others? We're required to wear them, but not everyone believes in them. So we came to this Forbes Avenue lab to find out, is the proof in the Petri dish? This is a plate that's used in all microbiology laboratories. Microbiologist Jack Reese invited our cameras into Special Pathogens Laboratory <coughs> to cough it out and see what sticks. To stay safe, I took my temperature that morning and remained in one room for the duration of the experiment. The scientist wore his mask and stayed back during the coughing. You're going to cough three times onto this uh, a blood auger plate, uh, which will grow not the virus, but the bacteria that is in your your mouth, your nose, your basically your oral pharynx. We are testing four masks: the bandana, the homemade mask, the disposable one, and the N95. Well, if you had to rank them, obviously you're better at this than I yes. am. <laughs> Definitely, the N95 mask is going to give you more protection. Reese tells me the dish won't grow a virus like COVID-19, but it will show what bacteria sneaks through the mask. All right, you ready? I'm ready. He tells me to hold the dish at the same distance. Yeah, right about there. And cough hard three times. <coughs> <coughs> and why not try some singing? After all, the CDC once described choirs as a super spreader. Wow, that was very nice. Your turn. Yeah. No, no, no. And then finally, without a mask. This is the no mask. <coughs> <coughs> Soon we're done and off to the incubator. We'll pull these out after 48 hours incubation and we'll take a look and see what the results show. And this is set at what temperature? 37 degrees, which is essentially body temperature. Two days later, it's reveal time. First, the N95. Nothing came through using the N95. The KDKA bandana. Again, nothing came through. My homemade mask. Again, nothing. Again, nothing, which is good. Good. That's what we want to see. Even the popular disposable mask. Again, nothing. no colonies that came through. So the moment of truth, the no mask results. Very few bacteria. Maybe three different colonies of bacteria on this no mask covering, which is kind of unusual. To make sure we had more than one set of results, Reese did the experiment too. So now you coughed and did the same thing off camera. He coughed wearing his disposable mask. And there's already more colonies than mine. Now the bandana. And lastly, without a mask. And what you can see are uh, very many different colonies of bacteria. Uh, again, these are bacteria that you would expect to see in a normal respiratory flora. So that is something that you would have expected to see on some of mine. Correct. Reese said even if my dishes stayed in the incubator longer, my lackluster looking results wouldn't change. Some people just spread more bacteria than others. Would you say that our results with the masks or at least the disposable, the N95, fell in line with what the leading scientists and health leaders have been saying now? Yes, definitely. Um, in order to cut down on the transmission of this virus, uh, you should be wearing a face covering. Almost all of that respiratory secretions were held back by using the mask. And in case you're wondering about the Petri dish that I sang into, that was also clear. He said maybe next time I could sing more than one note, maybe sing a little bit longer in order to get the spit flying. And judging by the look of his Petri dish, I won't be singing near him anytime soon. Reporting live in Carrick tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.